quick instructional video on using the Chromecast to connect to the conference room TV. When you're on the proper source channel, HDMI 2 in this case, uh, you're going to see the uh, Chromecast slideshow. If you have any difficulties uh, selecting the right um, source uh, in, in any given conference room, uh, please just see staff and they will know which channel to set. Once you're uh, seeing the correct uh, source, then you can look for the Chromecast name. In this, in this case, it's Conference Room 1. So if you don't have the Chromecast extension installed yet to Chrome, you're going to need to um, take a break and go do that. Um, we do have um, some instructions um, for that. Uh, they're rudimentary. They are mainly talking about finding information on the internet. Probably the best way to get this done is to schedule one of the 30 minute support sessions and we'll get it all set up for you. Um, but that said, the Chromecast icon is in this upper right hand corner here. And one gets to it simply by clicking on it uh, as this uh, shows. Um, in this case, there's only two Chromecasts uh, currently on site, Conference Room 1 and Lobby. Please do not try to cast to the Lobby. We're already using that one. Um, and then there's two uh, types of casting. So in Chrome, I can cast the tab itself. Or I can cast the entire desktop. And I'll just let you know that casting the um, entire desktop is, is a bit laggy. Um, casting the entire tab is much more efficient, uh, but you can do either way simply by manipulating this little drop down arrow and selecting which one you wish. So in this case, we're just going to do the tab and then we're going to cast to conference room one. Sometimes you have to click it more than once. I don't know why. And then you pretty much see whatever's on that tab. And so whatever YouTubes I show um, uh, along those lines, that's, that's what you're going to see there. And you can close this guy here and get it out of the way. And then we can click on this. And Hello, this there. is Derek, and I'm just going to make a quick video. So this here is another way of doing it. And that gives a new change up here. And then it just throws up the actual video itself. Which Hello, is this nice. is Derek, and I'm just going to... So that, again, in terms of um, sound, audio, and the video performance, uh, streaming directly out of YouTube is, is really, really a great way to go. And then, of course, we can go back up to here. And we can hit stop. And then we can start over if we wish. This time we're picking in the entire desktop. Entire screen. Sorry for the focusing. It's kind of trying to keep up. And then we hit share. And this time you'll notice we do see the little blue box there at the first part. Now what you're going to notice is that when you move your uh, mouse around, it's going to have a little bit of difficulty tracking it. When you're doing this in terms of making a presentation, you're going to want to watch your computer screen. And, you know, you're going to want to talk, watch, run, you know, all that kind of stuff like that. You're just going to want to do that by this keeping your... This is a great your, uh, video uh, tutorial. You're also going to probably want to mute your computer so that you don't get um, audio from two locations. So I'll go up here, in this case, and I'll mute that, and then I'll play it again. We're going to log in to the lead generation phones with your uh, desk phone phone. And again, it, it works pretty darn well. If you want to stop the sharing, you go down here. Um, the only real trick, like I say, is, is that I do kind of keep focused on my... Um, laptop rather than the TV because um, there is a communication going on over the wireless and it can be a little odd. But um, that's the fundamentals. Um, I hope this is helpful. Um, 
30 minute support sessions. We could sit down, do a one on one, talk about it uh, more in depth. Uh, but staff will also be able to help you if you have any questions or concerns. Thank you.